All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick video of the rundown on my kayak trailer build. Um, this was a Harbor Freight trailer to begin with. It was around, I think it was around $300 or so. Um, I added pressure treated plywood to that and sealed it with oil-based paint, a few layers of that. Um, I painted the frame with truck bed liner because the frames come red and if you leave them out in the sun for more than you know a few months they start to turn a pinkish so <laughs> I really didn't want a pink trailer so did the whole thing in uh, bed liner um, upgraded to LED marker lights and up, uh, upgraded to LED brake lights um, let's see here added a new coupler on the front um, tack welded it so nobody can take it off <clears throat> new safety change uh, the coupler was a two inch that came with the trailer and I want to match my ball which is an inch and seven eight so I switched that out um, put this jack on there added some decals uh, my kayak is an Ascend 12T uh, it's fully modded I'll do another video on that um, safety chain that goes from the front that hooks onto the front of my uh, kayak the kayak itself is sitting on three inch conduit that's attached to uh, some super strut um, these are just some ladder racks for the back of a truck bed um, they're about a hundred dollars or so bolted that to the frame goes through the plywood through the frame got a couple of diamond plate boxes here that lock um, these are about 75 bucks a piece they came and I uh, they came silver and I just painted them with the truck bed liner also um, so let's see what we got here. I just keep some GoPro mounts, dry bags, first aid kit, fish finder, uh, 360 light, extra straps, downrigger ball that I use as an anchor. And then on this side I keep my life jacket. Um, this is my son's Tamarack kayak. Um, I have these snake cables. Um, these are awesome for securing things. You just put in a code and, uh, you know, run it through your scupper holes, wrap it around something. So you can attach it to your trailer, attach it to a tree, you know, whatever you need to secure your thing for, for a little extra security. Um, I also got this, uh, wheel boot lock thing. Um, like I said, just in a little edit, extra security. Upgraded the wheels. The wheels are from wreckstuff.com. Um, added this rod tube, six inch rod tube. It's got the locking caps on the back. Uh, I could fit about four or five bait casters in there. Um, not so many uh, spinning rods. Uh, I was gonna get another one and put on this side also eventually. Uh, like I said, I got the LED marker lights. Um, I have the curved conduit in the back for when you pull the kayak off that way the kayak doesn't just drop off the end of the trailer it's a nice smooth transition from the trailer to the ground um, yeah that's pretty much it added some decals so I got this little bike alarm on there that goes through there there's actually one in the kayak and one in the trailer but uh if you arm when you arm them and make a noise beep again and then if you start screwing messing with the kayak or the trailer it's gonna give you a warning and then if you keep bothering it still then the alarm is gonna go off so they're just little cheap bike alarms from eBay it's just little deterrent things, you know, nothing is 100% thief proof. If a thief really wants your stuff, then they're gonna get it regardless. But I also have a coupler lock for the front. So it's just not on there right now, it's on another trailer. So, well, that's my kayak trailer. Uh, two sets of J-Racks on the front. I am gonna put another, weld another pipe, 
put it into here and then add some of the Malone uh, paddle holders to that so I can also strap my paddles down so I don't have to throw them in the back of my SUV and end up having a chance of them getting broken or anything. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for another one. And I'll do a full video of my kayak uh, breakdown to fully modded. I got the foot pedal troll motor and you know, nice battery box for that that I built. So, I'll do a rundown on that for you guys. All right, guys, thanks. Have a good one.